we should be guarding our children and looking out for the kind of husbands that they should be going and marrying. So this idea that my daughter is going to just figure out who she wants to date, whenever she wants to date, that's not happening. Like, I don't care what she says in some ways. Like, I'm going to make sure that the man that she winds up marrying is going to be a man that I approve, a man that, that honors God, that loves God, that loves her, that loves me. He better fall in love with me, because if not, he's not going to be my son-in-law, right? Um, he better love me. Um, and I'm going to make sure that when I do walk her down the aisle, I'm not just giving her away as a as a symbol that, okay, now you're out the house. No, I'm going to be giving her away to the next man that is going to care for her the way I've cared for her for the last 20-something years, right? I'm not just giving her away as, here's a, here's, here's a gift. No, like, you better fill the void that I'm going to be leaving behind. You better provide for her, love for her, care for her, nurture her. You better do everything that I've been doing. Now... I better do a hell of a job that when she's looking at a man, that she's looking at a man and saying he doesn't he doesn't meet the requirement because this is how daddy's raising me, right? And, and this is the problem kind of with our context um, and minority context is that fathers and dads aren't in the picture. And so when I look at community like this, man, this is the reason why you got girls at 13, 14, even younger sleeping around already. Yeah. And so you got... 14 year old, 15 year olds becoming mothers, right? And so, and, and and when we look at a lot of that, why is that? There wasn't the father to guard that, that child. There wasn't a father to keep that in, innocence there. There wasn't a father to protect her and show her what love really is. So when some, some dude from outside is trying to come into the picture and date her and say, no, a good date is going to McDonald's. No, it's not, right? She needs to know what it is to be loved and cared for and nurtured both physically and emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So when she's looking outside of her home as a for a candidate to be that man in her life, that she has to she has home to look back at and say, no, this is what my father did. Here's how he loved me. Here's how he protected me. Here's how he 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 um he he nurtured me and spiritually he prayed for me. He cared about my spiritual well-being. He's cared about my mind. He's cared about all of my body, all of my soul, all of me. That when I'm looking outside, I, I gotta he has to match up here. And if he's not, then he, even if I love him or lust him, he's, he's cut off of the picture because my dad will never approve of him, right? Like that should be how we raise our children. And again, unfortunately, in minority context, we don't have fathers in the, in the picture. We don't have, again, looking at right here, seven out of 10 kids coming from fatherless homes. That's crazy, right? And that does more damage to girls than it does to boys. I'm not saying that it doesn't damage boys, it does. But there's something about a girl having her father, her protector, that's his role in her life. When he's not there, man, it does a lot of damage. 